Awesome. Well, uh, it's kind of amazing to, to be here and to share uh, the stage with you crazy folks in, in Germany. It's really cool to be there in, a, in that hybrid format. Um, it's been a while I've been here, so it's good to see uh, familiar faces and new faces, so that's really cool. Um, today, I want to bring uh, some cool news that were delivered last week, uh, last week at Microsoft Build, where I had the privilege to present a couple of sessions and do labs and so on. And I wanted to focus today on how you really can build your first declarative agents using TypeSpec for Microsoft 365 Copilot. So let's dive into it. Uh, we have a really, really cool session today because I know me and then after, after that, it's Sarah. So a lot of pro dev um, capabilities uh, for agents in M365. So really cool stuff happening here. Um, so first, like, you will now have the ability to create agents, right? You already have that. You can use uh, Copilot Studio, Agent Builder. Uh, what is, I think, really interesting is that as part of this build, you really have the full opportunity to build with pro code tooling using the Microsoft 365 Agents Toolkit that got announced at build. And you really have the ability to build or to connect your agents to Microsoft 365 Copilot. And with the Agents Toolkit, you have the ability to do so many things from building declarative agents or custom engine agents or even Copilot connectors and agents for Teams and Teams apps and add-ins and so on and so forth. The Agents Toolkit becomes super powerful and is the tool you need to have and need to have installed on your dev machine to make sure that you can take advantage of all of it. Um, in our case, I will be focusing on one aspect of it, which is the newly released template for uh, TypeSpec for Microsoft 365 Copilot. So what does it do? What does it provide um, exactly? And we're literally building tooling that goes beyond the basics. If you've ever used Microsoft 365 uh, Copilot as a dev, you've probably used our declarative agent um, samples and you've used the templates and it's a, a JSON file you need to edit. Um, it's great for small or simple scenarios, but as soon as you get really complicated where you want to integrate with a bunch of different remote APIs, it's, it's really not that simple. Um, we, uh, so we're bringing you really beyond the basics. Um, our platform is evolving at the speed of AI, and you've seen that, right? You've seen our things move. You've seen our capabilities change. You've seen us adding so many features to Copilot. Well, now we're going to shield the developer from all that churn. We're going to make sure that the dev has an experience that stay, has stable as possible, but we're going to do all the heavy lifting for you to make sure you can take advantage of all of the cool, new, and shiny things that are being built inside Microsoft 365 Copilot. So that way you can stay productive without really rewriting all the code to keep up with our own backend changes. And most importantly, we're making the inner loop as smooth as possible. We're going to have uh, you have faster iterations, better tooling, um, full integration into your IDE, um, instant validation of all the things you're building. So it means for you just way less distractions so you can focus on the real thing that makes sense for you, which is building cool software. So let's ditch the, the slides, right? Um, and let's just go on and automatically go into demo mode so I can show you exactly what um, that is all about. And uh, David, Vesa, Luisa, please feel free to stop me when I go over. I'm too excited, too passionate about that thing, so I might go over. Uh, no, I'm going to check the time, but just saying. Um, so first, I am in Visual Studio Code here. Um, I have the Microsoft 365 Agents Toolkit already installed. Uh, I'm using the latest production version of it. So you can go to the store, get the um, Agents Toolkit, and that's what you get. Then from here, you can just go on and create a new agent or app. And that's where you're going to make your choice, right? You're going to have the choice of declarative agents, custom engine agents, and so many more. For us, we're going to start with declarative agents. And we will uh, use that start with type spec for Microsoft 365 Copilot. It is currently in preview. Uh, we should come out of preview pretty soon. But for now, we wanted to start um, as preview as we're still ironing it, 
ironing out. Can we say that? We're still fixing a couple of things that we want to have as clean as possible before we go into uh, general availability. So you're going to start with type spec here. I'm going to say I'm going to use that folder. I'm going to call it GitHub agent. Can I do that? Yes. I did not create a GitHub agent before, which is a miracle uh, because usually I always, I always do that. I'm just going to say yes, trust all of it, trust the authors, and then let's go. The first thing you're going to notice is that the project is uh, similar, right? The project is similar to before. You have in that package right here, you have a couple of files. What you don't have here is a declarative, declarative agent dot json file or a um let me close that here or a an ai plugin file or all of these files you, you you won't get that here and the reason why you will not get that is because we will generate all of these really weird files for you you won't have to generate them you're going to use code to generate these things so that way it's fully typed and so much easier so the first thing you're going to notice is you have two new files the main.tsp file this file right here, and the actions.tsp. These two are um, working together. And the reason why they're working together is that they are included in each other. So the first thing that really TypeSpec offers you is the ability to separate your code in multiple files, depending on areas. But also think about reusability. These files could be packaged as NPM packages, for example, and be reused across um, um, a bunch of different um, projects. I see a comment in the chat. You are not right. As expected, no support for syntax. No, you actually have full support for syntax. The only thing you will have to do here is that's not what I want to do. You're going to have to go and start and just do an NPM install. So that way you're going to get all the dependencies installed for you automatically. I'm going to do an NPM install and then you're going to have full syntax highlighting full support um, using the type spec language server that will give you all of the goodness of all of that. So while this happens, I'm just going to let it um, run here. Um, and, and we'll come back to that as soon as uh, this is done. So let's look at what um, our main file looks like. So first, you're going to have a couple of imports. These imports are to the regular type spec libraries, but also to type spec for Microsoft 365 Copilot that allows you to have more and more um, insights into M365 Copilot specific capabilities. Second, you're going to have here um, your agent. Your agent here, and I'm just going to close because now I see that my uh, NPM install just got uh, cleared out, should be all done now. Um, looks like it installed everything. We should be all good. Don't know why it's still um, under highlighting, but let's let's come back to that later. It's it's okay for now. Um, you're gonna have an agent decorator that basically defines your agent. So that's the name of your agent, the description of your agent, and here you are gonna have full support for a multi-line instructions. That's literally literally the instructions you would put in an agent by default. But then afterwards, we're gonna guide you to use some of the um, default capabilities that exist. For example, here we have Conversation starter. So here I can go here. I can uh, go to edit. I can uh, toggle my line comment. And now I can add conversation starters. For example, have all of the conversation starters or the starter prompts are available natively inside M365 uh, Copilot. So here, basically, you just said, I have an agent, I have a title, I have a description, I have a set of instructions, I have conversation starters. Maybe that's where you end. There are scenarios where Agents can be instructions only. It's absolutely possible. But what if we wanted to go a little bit deeper? We wanted to add some default capabilities that exist in Microsoft 365 Copilot. For example, I can add a web search. I can add the ability to search on the web and to focus on a specific um, area of the web. In my case, I'm going to build an agent that is specialized in GitHub, in, uh, GitHub uh, issues. So here I'm going to go in my, in my namespace. My namespace basically means this is where all my capabilities exist for M365 Copilot. And here I'm just going to add a web search that is an agent's capability and has a maximum, in that case, of four different URLs. And here this is one of the biggest uh, value here is if I actually add more than four, um, 
another uh, more than four, this is where you're going to have um, all of our validation kick in, right? We're going to have that validation, uh, get into it, and make sure that you cannot load more than four. We're going to give you all of that uh, really, really cool. Now, I want to also integrate with an API. And in my case, I want to integrate with the GitHub API. The GitHub API allows me to search for capabilities uh, for GitHub issues. And in that case, I already have it here. Let me just uncomment this, where I'm going to be able to say, I'm defining a service. A service is an API that has a server URL. That's my GitHub server URL. Has a bunch of different metadata. And the reason why we specify the metadata is to help Copilot understand when to call that. So if I go to my actions.tsp file, you're going to see that I have a name for the human. I have a description for the human. I have a description for the model. So depending on the capabilities, depending on the things you want to highlight for the model, so it automatically and uh, select your API at the right time to do the right call, you're going to be able to really expand these descriptions to make them as proper as possible. And finally, I'm going to say, I'm going to use this um, um, these actions. I'm, I'm only going to select the uh, search issues for here. So I'm just going to use this action that I have here, this right here. And let's look at that for a couple of seconds. This here means it's, it's very simple, but it allows a lot of, of things. First, it tells me that I have an API call here, a route that I want to use, slash search, slash issues. I have an adaptive card here that is stored in my adaptive cards folder. I have it here that represents my search issues. I also have my get operation that says, hey, I have a query string. I have a query here from part of the query string that is called Q, and I have all of these default things here. All of that is super difficult to represent when you're using our JSON format, or even if you want to use some instructions to do that. Here, we're generating it all for you in a format that is known by Copilot to make it as simple as possible. And here, I'm just saying, hey, I want to have by default five different uh, items for pages. Um, in my case, let's do that. Let's change this to a, a, a repo that I know uh, exists. Oh, this one exists. Uh, GitHub agent. And I'm just going to hit save here. And I'm just going to automatically say, you know what? I'm ready. Let's just go to Microsoft 365 Copilot here. It's going to load my account. It's going to load all the capabilities from here. And I'll be able to automatically get to uh, provision that app automatically. Haven't done a lot. I've added a conversation starter, added a little bit of instructions, added a capability of web search, connected it to the GitHub uh, API. I haven't had to bring my own open API description. If, if you've ever used open API description, you know how tricky these things are. It's hard to author, it's hard to maintain, it's also hard to add capabilities along the way. So how do you do that? Well. Here, we're going to automatically generate the open API that represents this uh, route and this service for you. So you don't have to think about it. Now, it had, I, it had to be the, the demo effect looks like my agent's toolkit is just sleeping right now, just trying to uh, get out of sleep for a second so I cannot uh, publish just yet. Let me maybe just close that for a second, reopen it. Let's see how that might uh, play out just a second. And if not, we're just going to put that on the fact that we are doing this hybrid thing between us and Germany. And uh, I guess the technical issues we had at the beginning or just before the beginning might have hit me back here in Montreal, but it should not. So we're going to leave it um, another uh, two or three seconds. What is really interesting also to note is that all of the capabilities of agents are supported natively in TypeSpec. So if you want to do authenticated APIs, you can using API key, OAuth. If you want to use SSO, you can also, if you want to do um, all the capabilities uh, we have, all of that is fully possible. Cool, now I'm all good. So now I can, uh, I see I'm already signed in. Right here, let me actually sign out from this account. I'm going to go and sign in going to go here. It's going to give me a, a login. I'm going to say, I want to use this account. Thank you so much. Now it's going to sign in. And in a second, I will be able to, uh, to click on provision right there. 
And now it's going to go and it's going to create the app. It's going to compile all the type spec code that I created. It's going to push the, um, the app or the, the, the agent to Microsoft 365 Copilot. It's going to make sure it's valid. It's going to make sure everything is all um, available for me. And in around 30 seconds, I should be able to see the agent over there um, in, um, in, in, in right here. So let me go here. Let me go back there. I'm going to leave it just a second or two to, uh, to load. We can go and see how these things are happening. You can have a full log of everything that is happening. You see all of that. Everything just works perfectly. It says it did compile everything. Um, I can go and check my output see what uh, the agents toolkit is doing on my behalf. I go here, you can see everything one step at a time. Now it said that it went through all my validation rules and now I'm good to go. So I can just go straight to the to my other screen right here, um, reload that guy here, and I should see a GitHub agent showing up on top. Might be still a little bit, pro oh, there it goes. So now, uh, it's here. I have my GitHub agent here. I have my starter prompts. Get the latest issues from GitHub. I'm going to click on that. And now it's going to automatically say, oh, wait a second. You're looking for GitHub stuff. Let me find the right API. And we describe the API in the right way. And then it says, oh, here. And then it uses the same parameters that we've put in our contract, right? That is awesome because now it's always going to respect that. I'm going to say always allow. Now it's going to go call the API on my behalf and then will bring that back to the screen. And now I see all of the issues that are there. Not only they're, they, they are showing the, the top five, because we ask to show the top five, right? But also, it gives me a beautiful card that is there by default that allows me to see, oh, I want to see this issue a little bit more. And now I can click on View Issue. And now I have the full uh, breakdown of what this, this issue is. So in just like 10 minutes, I was able to connect to an API to GitHub don't provide an open API, all generated for me. Um, I was able to build my first type spec um, uh, agent with the agent toolkit. And now it's up to you. Now go try it out. You have all of our docs are available in the um, um, M365 Copilot Dev Center, where you have a specific page uh, dedicated to type spec. Go try it out. Germany, back to you. <music>